Here are the announcements for the week of September 27th. In a normal year, we would all be expecting a delivery of pumpkins from New Mexico on this Sunday. But unfortunately, uh, because of the pandemic, we've decided to postpone our pumpkin patch efforts for a year, hoping that next year, 2021, it will be safe to have uh, a pumpkin patch uh, that we have had every year for the last 22 years. Um, our main concern is the safety and the health of our volunteers and the community members that have supported us. And we certainly don't want our pumpkin patch experience when we're trying to do good for others to actually turn out being a situation where people get sick. So look for the pumpkin patch in a year. Um, and in the meantime, if you'd like to make a donation to support those organizations and the work that Trinity has supported by this fundraiser, the Pumpkin Patch, you can certainly uh, write a check and send it in, put Pumpkin Patch 2020 on the memo line, or you can give online um, and designate your gift online uh, for the, the Pumpkin Patch. One of the uh, new opportunities for discipleship that's, that's just getting started is a new study on the Sermon on the Mount by Amy Jill Levine. She's a Jewish New Testament scholar at Vanderbilt University, and uh, she brings so much wisdom and knowledge to the study of, of the Bible, and especially uh, this really important sermon by Jesus in Matthew's Gospel. So if you're interested in participating on uh, Zoom for this Bible study on the Sermon on the Mount, just contact me or Carol Minan directly. During the phase four that we're currently in, we're able to offer online and in-person worship experiences. I know not everyone's comfortable uh, with being in social gatherings, and so we're continuing to offer our worship videos every week. But if you think you might be interested in attending one of our in-person worship services, we're going to try to stay outside as long as the weather allows us, or we'll be inside uh, if there's rain or if it becomes too cold. Um, we do ask everyone who plans to attend in-person worship to sign up in advance because we have a limit of 50 people who can attend and it's just better to know if you made the cut or not um, rather than being turned away because there are too many people attending. So thanks so much for all of your uh, cooperation with those safety measures. There's so many ways that um, Trinity is reaching out to our congregation and to the community. We recently had to um, made an adjustment in our food pantry hours um, to accommodate the reopening of our nursery school. And so both of those things are happening simultaneously, but in a way that is very safe and keeping people um, from uh, having transmission of the virus. Um, but we, we, we know that we are called to be the church, to love our neighbors and to love God and one of the ways we do that is by investing in the ministry and the mission of Trinity Church. Um, if you'd pray with me right now, I'd like to lead us in a prayer of dedication as we give ourselves to Christ and his work on earth. Let us pray. O Creator God, Creator Christ, you refresh the world with your spirit. And we give you thanks for the abundant gifts that you place in our care accept the offering of our lives and the resources that we present to you for the flourishing of life on earth with all creation, with forests, wilderness, rivers, and all other things. We praise you and we give you thanks. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God Almighty, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us always. Amen.